Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about Churchill Capital. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our invest journey together. So today we're going to be doing a video about Churchill Capital currently up 0.82%, but on the past week, it's actually up 11%. And a lot of people have kind of been wondering, you know, what's been going on with Churchill Capital? Why is the stock, you know, sink so much and then kind of slowly start kind of climbing upwards once again? Um, it obviously has to do with a lot of things, you know, going into the merger, you know, people were very optimistic about Churchill Capital, you know, stock hitting about $65 uh, just based off rumors alone. And on February 22nd, the company actually announced that, yes, it's actually going to merge with Lucid Motors. And, you know, ever since then, the stock has kind of ever been on a tumble. You know, the stock once traded at $65, now currently trading at $27, you know. A lot of people are kind of, you know, being a little bit more speculative about the investment in itself. And I feel like there's lots of reasons for this. One could definitely be the lack of kind of news on when the merger is actually going to be happening. So we actually don't know when the merger is actually going to happen. Although a merger was officially announced, we do know for a fact that Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors are actually going to merge together. But there is no definitive date on when Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors are actually going to merge together. So this has kind of left a sour taste for investors in their mouth, kind of just being like, okay, we well, we know that a merger is announced, but we actually don't know when the merger date's going to be. You know, when is Churchill Gap Capital actually going to trade as Lucid Motors? So that has kind of driven the stock downwards a little bit as well. But there's also other things too that have kind of driven Churchill Capital stock downward or soon to be known as Lucid Motors is the fact that, you know, no one really knows when they're going to start producing the EV air. No one really knows when they're going to be able to start buying these cars. You know, yes, there are lots of pre-orders for the car, but no one really knows when they're going to start rolling these cars out. And so, you know, people definitely want to invest in a company that definitely has a long-term vision, but people also want news that's going to keep them up to date about the overall stock in itself. Churchill Capital or Lucid Motors have not really done this, although... Lucid Motors and themselves have, you know, they pointed out a couple of features that they're excited about on the vehicle, the EV Air, and, you know, kind of about itself and the production. You know, we do know that Churchill Capital, or basically known as Lucid Motors, is going to be building a factory in Saudi Arabia. They have a factory in Arizona. And so, you know, they're soon going to be producing cars, but there's no definitive date. So a lack of news overall from the company in itself has driven the stock downward. But that does not mean that, you know, overall that the stock is a bad investment. I, I think that Lucid Motors is an absolutely must buy at these levels, $26.91. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But aside from the few hectic weeks we've seen from Churchill Capital, my bullish sentiment overall has not really changed about Churchill Capital because I do think that this stock is going back to $40 to $50. And the reason I say this is because, one, the EV market in itself is very explosive. And what do I mean by this? I mean that, you know, the EV market is one of these huge growth sectors that has already seen a lot of growth, but it's actually not going to stop growing anytime soon either. I mean, we've definitely seen that, you know, the whole world is trying to go electric. You know, people are trying to make more utilization off electric vehicles and themselves. You know, with more advanced technology, you know, the whole world is trying to kind of change the EV. You know, Volkswagen, Ford, all these companies are trying to roll out an EV vehicle as fast as possible to be able to compete with the competition. Lucid Motors is not a pushover company. You know, they have factories. They, you know, they have an idea for a car. You know, they have an idea altogether about what they're actually going to be doing for the car itself. You know, so it's not like one of these companies that kind of just IPO'd with no business plan at all or no business fundamentals or perspective. You know, they have factories. They have a car. You know, they're going to start producing it's just kind of lackluster news that has kind of driven the stock downward. And like I said, you know, the stock once trading at $64, $65, you know, it can leave a sour taste in people's mouth that the stock has uh, basically fell half its stock value, over 60%. And But that should not have changed people's fundamentals altogether. Now, there's also a little bit of other news that's kind of scaring investors, and it's the fact that Lucid delayed its deliveries of its flagship Lucid Air luxury sedan from this spring to the second half of 2021. So, you know, that obviously did cause a little bit of the stock price to go down a little bit. But, you know, they're still on a track record to the point where I do think that Churchill Capital still has a lot of upside potential. Now, if we take a look at their forecasting vehicle deliveries in 2022, you know, they're projected to sell about 20,000 vehicles, which should generate over $2.2 billion in sales, which is just absolutely amazing. You know, there's going to be 1.6 billion shares outstanding after the merger closes in the second quarter at $40 per share. So, I mean, if we take a look at that news altogether, you know, the company's already projected to do very well in sales here in the coming next year. It's projected to do $2.2 billion in sales. That's just absolutely amazing. And the fact that this stock is just currently trading at $26.88, to me, I think this company is still an absolute steal. 
Now, I do want people to know, you know, with a lot of EV companies, you know, their growth is very explosive, but sometimes, you know, they're more of a longer term play. And I want people to understand when it comes to investing, it's always about a patience thing. For me, I'm looking at where Churchill Capital could be in the next two, three, or maybe even five years, but it's almost without a doubt that Churchill Capital does have a lot more upside potential than it does downside potential. Like I said, Lucid is a very well established EV company. It's coming into the game hot and it really wants to dominate itself. And I think that Lucid Motors can do it. Now, if this puts me all together for an overall price prediction of where I think Churchill Capital or soon to be known as Lucid Motors is going to hit by the end of the year or even by summertime, I know that it's not going to trade in the 20s much longer. I'm pretty sure that we will see $40, $50 by summertime and I'm pretty sure that we will see $75 to $100 by the end of the year and i'm actually pretty optimistic that lucid motors can hit 200 dollars by the end of 2022 and the reason i say is because if the company just ipo'd and it just went public and it's now selling cars and they're already projected to do 2.2 billion dollars in sales that means their sales are going to continue to increase over time which is definitely going to push a higher valuation on lucid motors it's got a lot of big time investors behind its name, you know, JP Morgan, all these big time analysts who are not only bullish about the EV market in itself, but they're also super, super bullish on Lucid Motors. And it also has a billion dollar funding from Saudi Arabia, which is a very good thing. You know, like I said, they plan on building a plant there as well. So, you know, Lucid Motors as an EV company has a lot going for itself. You know, it's it's come to do business. It's here to sell cars. It wants to be the main competitor of Tesla. And like I said, based out of California here in the United States, you know, the EV market is, is a lot more rampant and it's starting to grow very, very quickly. So people are very optimistic that Lucid Motors can really sustain a lot of long-term growth. And I do feel the same way. I feel like as they start to roll out more products, as they start to sell more cars, as they start to gain more analyst truck and people really get a dive into their sales, you know, it's going to definitely change the bullish bullish sentiment on Lucid Motors. Now, the biggest argument right now on why people aren't really touching the stock is because they keep de delaying their sales and the company realistically has not sold a product just yet. But for me, I'm not even really worried about it. I think Lucid Motors is going to be a great company. Yes, there has been some delays, but it's not like, you know, the company is not going to end up selling anything at all. You know, Lucid Motors does have a plan that it's going to be rolling out cars this year. It has a plan that it's going to start selling cars as soon as possible. So, it's sometimes just about giving the stock some time. And I do think that this company does have the potential chance to follow the footsteps of Tesla here in the United States. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comments below, guys, what you think of Churchill Capital stock. Do you guys think Churchill Capital is worth a buy at $26.94? If you guys own Churchill Capital stock, how many shares do you guys own? And what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.